Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to a very special Hayden video. You guys, finally the September or the fall 2023 update for Hayden is officially here. And in this video, I'm going to be playing this latest update and we're going to be talking about everything that's been added and uh, what are some of the new changes. So here you guys can have a look at the poster of this new update, which is really cool. It's giving me a lot of um, fall and winter vibes. There's a machine, new animal, and just um, a lot of cool stuff. So if you guys haven't updated your game, yet make sure you do because you don't want to miss all this cool stuff now before i jump into the game let's quickly go through what's been added in this update a new update is live in Haiti. Check out the excellent content uh, that's just been added for our fall update. So we have a new production building, which is the porridge bar, apple porridge, fresh porridge, and uh, sweet porridge. We have a new crop, oats. It's going to make um, pineapple coconut bar, rich soap, and the breakfast bowl. And uh, we have new birds, the penguins, blue penguin, gray penguin, and we have some penguins at decorations. And apart from that, there is a lot more that's coming into Haiti, which I'm so excited for. There's a really special event, more decorations, and just a lot of celebrations. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that stuff. Now let's jump into the game and see everything practically. I just um, updated my game and hopefully it goes smooth. Um, I know that there's like a lot of bug fixes as well and it should run faster and smoother. So let's just see what happens. I'm really, really excited. It's always an exciting moment when you get a new update in the games. So here we go. Okay. And um, the fall theme is actually in the game. Let me just, um, you guys can see that there's uh, the mist clouds in the air and we have those um, poisonous mushroom pads on the ground. So I love the fall theme in the game. It's like my most favorite theme. So. Um, Alfred is walking by the door and I'm sure that he's going to have my free diamond. So let's just, um, open this package and see what it says. Hi, thank you for updating to the latest version. All right, and we're just going to accept my five diamonds and I have, um, 181 diamonds now. Let's see what are we having over here. Um, this is the offers over here. Okay, this is my free reward. I'm having a diamond taster, which is 50 diamonds for 230 rupees when normally it's like 470 so that's actually not a bad deal and there's um the fox statue and that's um all the usual stuff and i think i'm just gonna jump over here to the news and see what are they talking about over here so it even mentions here the fall 2023 update is available so these are all the new things and there are also some ui improvements and dumb bug fixes so I think I'm just going to get started with my favorite part, which you guys know is, of course, uh, the brand new machine. So I'm just going to jump over here to the production buildings option. And um, there we go. This is our cute porridge bar. It definitely looks like um, a fall machine. I don't know if it's the color, if it's the design, but it's really cute. So it's going to cost you one point. 3 million coins, which is expensive, but I think that's, um, that shouldn't be a problem if you have a lot of money. So I'm just going to purchase it. There I go. I can spend 89 diamonds or I'm just going to wait for four days. And you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm obviously going to be waiting. I don't prefer to spend diamonds on the machines, you know, when I buy them. I'm not saying it's bad. It's actually worth it, but it's something more of like my personal preference. So we're just gonna wait on that. And um, then with the new machine, we got our new products. Let me just go down to the barn and, and show you guys all the new products. So these are the new kinds of porridge we've got, the apple porridge, the fresh porridge, and the sweet porridge. And um, we've got three more products from our existing machines that included uh, this breakfast bowl. Uh, let me just go to the machines over here. Yeah, so this is what we got. It's gonna require four oats, which is a new crop that I'll just be talking in a moment. One yogurt, one honey, and uh, two blackberries. It's a uh, 42 minutes. And then in my bath kiosk over here, we've got this uh, rich soap, which is um, two oats, one pomegranate, and one coconut. And then I think in the bakery, we've got another product. Let me just show you guys. Um, yeah, this one over here. It's a uh, one coconut, two white sugar, three oats, and uh, two uh, pineapples. Not really that hard to make if you have a lot of white sugar. So I think I'm going to come to, oh my gosh, not this again. <laughs> my silo is still full. This is so frustrating. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, let me just um, show you guys the animation of this new crop. So this is the latest crop that we've got. And I think this is also the highest level crop. It's um, the oats, 
Wow, the animation is so cool. It's really different from other machines, so I'm just gonna play it, and this is how your oats look in the game. Um, looks very similar to how the onions look when you plant them. Let me just do a little experiment. Um, yeah, look at that, you guys. Okay, maybe not exactly like that, but there's like a few uh, similarities. And I'm sure it's gonna resemble to the wheat as well, so let me just plant the wheat. Yeah, it looks actually more like wheat, to be honest, which does make sense because oats and wheat is like, you know, they're kind of similar even in real life, so. Yeah, now the thing about the oats is that it's not a long time taking crop, like the asparagus that we got. I think it took like six hours. It's only gonna take seven minutes, uh, which is between the time of corn and carrots. So you don't have to worry about it. You can spend like one diamond to harvest it. And this is how it's gonna look when it's um fully grown. I think I'm just gonna spend a bunch of diamonds. Let's um harvest it. There we go. Okay, come on, now the silo. And uh, one um, XP to harvest it. So I think this crop is gonna be very common and you'll definitely be able to find it in the paper. So it's not even a big deal if you don't have it. So. I'm sure uh, many people are going to be planting and harvesting it, so we're just going to plant some more there. And, uh, okay, that's about the new crop and uh, new products. We've got um new machine. Let's actually go to the town, um, to the sanctuary, and let me just show you guys uh, what we got over here. So, you guys, here in the sanctuary, we've got two brand new animals. Okay, I have so many animals to unlock. This is so frustrating. Yeah, the blue penguin and the gray penguin. If you guys would like to know more about them, you can check out my um, previous videos. Um, but let me just uh, jump to Greg's farm and see what are we having over there. I'm sure it's going to be decorated. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Look at that. This is the new machine, of course. And are these the new decorations? Like these very exotic, bloody flowers? I'm in love with them. I'm so excited for the Halloween, you guys. Okay, this is not new, I'm sure. Um... This is a very cute bench. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's see what else do we have over here. Is it decorated or that's basically just it? I think that's really it. Yeah. Um, okay, and uh, let me just see if Greg has the penguins or not. And of course, um, his town is also decorated with the new stuff. Not really the new stuff, just um, old decorations. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if he has the penguins, which I do hope that he does. Um, I am not sure. I don't really see them. Mm. Okay, how do I know if he has the penguins or not? I've just been, like, absent from the game for a long time, so I really don't know where's their home. Is that the home for the, the penguins? It doesn't really look like one. Or maybe he doesn't have them yet. Okay, so this is the fox, and um, these are the meerkats. We've got the cheetahs, walruses. So guys, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't really see the penguins on Greg's farm. If you guys see them, please let me know. Uh, maybe my eyes at the moment can't dump. Maybe they're just concealed. Oh, I'm so dumb. Wait a second, I just saw them. Hold on, hold on. This is so confusing. It tricks me every time there's a new animal. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at <laughs> Not the dance? Oh my god, what? Okay, come on, Gorilla, go back. We need to see the penguin. It's just making me really angry at the same time. Like, come on, I just want to look at the penguin. What's going on? Oh, it's so cute, you guys. The dance animation, it's the cutest. I love it. It's actually the blue penguin. Oh my god. I'm in love. Okay, where is the gray penguin now? Where is that bad boy hidden? Just need to find him. Okay, come on. They can't really go that far. Uh, this is not even their, like, usual place, so, um, I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, the blue penguin. Okay, I'm, I, I can't really see the gray penguin. The sanctuary is really crowded, and I do hope that they expand it in the future. There's been a lot of good ideas that people have been sharing in the community related to the sanctuary, so hopefully in the future some of those ideas can be implemented, but I guess we'll just have to wait. Yeah, guys, I really don't see, uh, the the gray penguin so is it the gray penguin oh, come on that's the walrus um that's um i think that's it for the uh, sanctuary and of course i think special in the town it's actually pretty much the same everything looks like the same the fall theme is here so the trees have changed um their colors and of course i forgot to show you guys the brand new newspaper let's have a look at that okay there we go um cool 
Now, as we did talk about that the profile of the people was going to get removed and the product that you're looking for is going to be a lot bigger, which is good. Okay, we're, we need to get the bolts, please. Can I get them? Come on. No, they're sold. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's very unfortunate. But it's cool. I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but I do like it. I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of difference for me specifically. It was never a thing that I thought would need a change, in my opinion. But, you know, this still made it better, so I'm... I'm just happy. Yeah, so that's how the newspaper looks now. And um, there were a lot of other bug fixes. The shop looks pretty much the same. Uh, let's quickly go to my fishing area and see if there's anything new over there or not. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same as well. It was a very basic update, to be honest. It was not that big, except the events that are coming in the game very soon, which I'll let you guys know. So um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for all the fun videos coming. Uh, but that's basically all about the fall 2023 update for Hayden. I'm happy, uh, but I'm not that excited because at the end of the day, it's just a very basic update. I would very much want them to focus on the town, like expand the town, um, give us more town buildings, you know, give us like a new area or something. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this update in the comments. What's your favorite part and what's your least favorite part about this update? Subscribe to the channel for more hidden content coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Bye.